All right, welcome to another series of Europa Universalis 4. So, last week was the first week where I started uploading five videos a week. So I decided, instead of just making it so that I'm only recording the one series that entire week, I decided to have two series. So this series is going to be the Tuesday and Thursday slots, while the other series will take up Wednesday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So this series, as you could tell by the name of the video, is... I'm probably going to call it, like, Cursed Europa Universalis 4 or something, so... Basically, what this series is going to be is... I'm going to play EU4 without any DLC. <laughs> oh god. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly what to expect. Uh, I mean, the map looks the same. That's good. At least I have that sense of... Hope. Oh boy. <laughs> I, I don't even have like any of the um of uh, like non-expansion DLCs installed either. I just the base game. This is gonna suck. I, I I can already tell this is gonna suck. I don't even know who the hell I want to play as either. I think I have to play as somebody strong because there's probably a ton of DLC features that without I'm just gonna be like, oh god, what do I do? <laughs> I can just take the little bitch option and just go Castile and have no problems dealing with anyone. Oh god, there's buttons missing down here as well. There's only Random Nation. So, Custom Nations and Random New World are a DLC feature. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to be interested to just see like what is and isn't a DLC feature because I haven't played the game without DLCs in a long ass time. Because I started playing when Rights of Man was released, I think. And then after a while of playing the game, once I started liking it more, that's when I started getting all the DLCs. And yeah, since uh, I think Mandate of Heaven is when I had all the DLCs for the first time. So yeah, it's been a long time since I've played without DLC. So let's just get into this. I'm just going to stop yapping my head off. And uh, oh boy, just, just be filled with dread because... This is going to be very interesting. <laughs> like, are, are the missions a DLC thing? Because the missions were changed at one point, so... Okay, no, these missions are still the same, but... I don't have the special Spanish focus tree, or mission tree. Uh, yeah, I just got, like, this basic bitch non-DLC focus tree. The papacy is the same. The Holy Roman Empire is the same. Catholicism just seems to be the same. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's good, because I'm not going to be switching from Catholicism. Uh, All this is the same. I find it hard to believe that I found nothing different so far. There's still estates. I remember that those were added to the base game in uh, Dharma, I think. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, that's right. We don't have the um, uh, new government reforms. Okay, so if I want to change government, I have to do this nonsense again. Ugh. Right. Um, okay. I probably won't be changing government anyways. Boy. Oh, I can't even cycle my fucking advisors. Oh, shit. I mean, I guess the way you cycle them is you hire them, fire them, and then you hire someone else. Actually, does that work? I can't set- oh my god. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, th this is fine. This is fine. I can't even disinherit my heir. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Alright, um... I fucking fuck. Oh yeah, th this old system. Fuck me, I remember this. Oh boy, that's... Oh my god, okay. Uh, okay. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking broken at this point. Uh, <laughs> shit. Okay. Uh, prepare the Rikakisa. What do I gotta do for that? Have 6% manpower. Uh, have 100% army and navy size. I can do that. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm fucking broken at this point. My god. Oh, shit. Alright. It's fine. I'm gonna make this work and not go crazy in the meantime. Okay, professionalism is a DLC mechanic. 
Oh god, okay. <laughs> yeah, now that I'm actually looking for things in particular, now I'm actually noticing the things that don't actually exist in the base game. I can't debase the mints, or whatever the hell the button is. That's fine, I don't tend to press that very often anyways. In fact, the only time I really ever press that button is when I'm playing as a Muslim and I get the event that gives you uh, minus two corruption. Oh boy. Uh, fucking fuck it, fuck. Okay, um... I assume alliances are similar, right? Uh, I don't know, but I'm scared. It's mostly scared. Alright, let's ally Portugal, because Portugal is a good friend. Aragon is a dick. France is good friend. Alright, I'll ally up with France. Okay, yeah, no, that's the same, okay. Okay, I'm buddies with France. Alright, let's lower my army maintenance. Let's lower my fort maintenance. Uh, Royal Marriage Portugal, that sounds good. I'd rather send the offer to them, though. Because that way, when I die, all my royal marriages will... Uh, I'll have to get them all again at the same time. So, England, Burgundy, and Aragon. England, sure. Aragon, definitely. Burgundy, I don't really give a shit about them. England, Aragon, and Morocco, sure. Disputed succession, yep, like the 50,000 nations that don't have an heir anymore for reasons. Okay, so let's get a, um, that's also a DLC mechanic. Okay. I was going to set my, uh, naval practice or whatever the hell that thing is called in here. Like the, like, little naval cog thing. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna hate myself after a while playing this. Like, my god. Alright, well, there we go. So that's the Hundred Years War. Uh, guess I'll help. Yeah, why, why the hell not? Oh shit, I'm also at war with... How the hell... How did you get Portugal on the war? What the fuck? Favors don't exist in the base game. Oh shit. Okay, favors don't exist. That makes the AI a lot more aggressive. Okay then. Okay, I I, I see, I see. Okay, I'm uh, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I need an admiral though. Uh, let's get one for free from the burgers. Okay, let's see here. Oh fuck me. Yeah, right, like, oh shit, okay, I'll have to fix my states later, because, fuck, can't even give any land to the burgers. Well, I guess I'll just take the points and the money, fuck it. At least the estates are exactly the same as they are in the base game. <laughs> okay. Got this guy, he's pretty good. And I need an admiral. He'll do. I don't really have much of a choice. Okay, you bastards need to hurry the fuck up and, uh, oh, well, that's a thousand men dead. Yeah, we were not prepared for this war at all. <laughs> Especially to have our good friend betray us like that. Okay, so... Right, let's send one of these cavalry over. And what else do I need? I need four more infantry. Alright. Actually, I need to just sort of chill for the time being. Cause my... What the hell is my army doing? I don't know why they were going back there, but okay. Yeah, I'll have my second army here just to do sieges primarily. Alright, I should be able to kill them, hopefully. Well, fuck. They've got a much better general, I assume. Um, what are my ideas again? Yeah, I've got 50% morale of armies, an extra missionary. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, the, I don't think the French are going to arrive in time. Uh, so I'd rather take less losses. Oh shit, they just fucking ran, man. Goddamn. Let's see. I might as well try to get France to give me some, uh... 
That doesn't exist in the base game, really? Okay. I can't tell France that I want any of this land, which means they're not going to give me any lands. Fuck. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Um. <laughs> I am regretting this already. And it's only been 10 minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to need some divine intervention if I'm going to get through this fucking series. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh my god. This shit is fucking nuts. Like, just the how much shit is missing in the base game. Well, fuck you too, Portugal. You shouldn't have allied yourself with England, you bitch. Alright. Okay, well, France does still give me that land, so... The problem is I can't tell them that I want it. That's the thing. So the only way I'll really get land out of this war is if I peace out with... Uh, peace out on my own accord. Oh boy. I would really like Ceuta. That way I could just sort of like go into Africa without any issues. Problem is though, France ain't gonna be happy if I have separate peace. And there's also the fact that I'm gonna get metric fuck tons of aggressive expansion because I'm taking war. Uh, let's see. Wait, is there not? Oh, there's not trust either. So they just take an opinion hit. You could really be addicted to AI without DLC. So there are some good things and some bad things about not having DLC. I don't even know which DLC is the one that's, like, removes favors and... Oh shit, I'm out of manpower. Oh, well, fuck. Alright. Might have to start murking up, but, yeah, we'll see. I'm actually very curious, will France give me land anyways? I... no. Okay. Well, uh, mm, shit. Um, God, whatever. That's fine. Oh yeah, the Moroccans actually took Ceuta as well, so not much I can really do about it. Do I just Portugal again? You know what? That will actually allow me to be at war with Morocco if I do that. So I kind of like that idea. See, I should be called into war against Morocco. Emphasis on the should. Yeah, I can't just, like, ask to join the war. That's not even a feature in the uh, current version of the game. Let's get these guys on the coast so they start taking less attrition. Uh, okay. Yeah, they're not calling me into the war, those idiots. Alright, well, whatever. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting this series to be as cursed as it is. Like, I was expecting it to be cursed, but I expected to, like, you know, not feel like I want to die. Alright, well, I'm gonna start vassalizing Navara. I, sh I always do that. If I'm playing as England, France, or Castile, I always vassalize Navara. Um, as soon as the game starts. I don't know why I didn't do that this time around. I guess just because I'm too busy looking at cursed things, I'm just like, Oh my god! It's a thing! Ah, shit! That's basically my reaction to everything right now. Uh, does this make my... No, it doesn't make my manpower grow faster. That's fine. Oh, there's no great powers either. Oh, shit. That one I don't care about as much, but that's still a bit of a shock. In fact, there's no great powers. That means it's quite difficult to, to get pe your power projection up. Uh, but that's fine. That's, that's fine. It's all good. Fine and dandy. Apparently, I'm poor as shit. Oh, because I'm still at war with England. I forgot about that. Actually, I think that's why Portugal's not calling me into war, because I'm at war with England still. The gold mine has been depleted. Oh, wait, isn't development a DLC feature? No, I thought it was. I guess maybe they made that base game, too. Okay. Alright, the uh, state of edicts, those are a DLC feature. This screen looks different, though. I don't know what it is. 
But it looks different. Yeah, I, I have no clue what is different on the screen, but it looks different. I don't know, that might just be my brain just being like, something's wrong! And, like... <laughs> I just don't know, man. Uh, let's get some manpower from the nobles, because I need to get my manpower up to uh, 60%, was it? Yeah. Alright, let's vassalize Navara. Boom. Uh, make them a... I could make them a march. It'd be an okay march. Yeah, let's do that. Why can't I make them a march? I can send them a thing. Navarro will become a march. A march is a vassal that cannot be annexed, does not pay taxes, but has greater military capacity than a regular vassal. I have no clue why I can't make them a march. It's not... I assume it doesn't have anything to do with their opinion. Are marches seriously a DLC feature? But the button still exists in the game, even if you don't have the DLC turned on. Oh boy! Alright then. <laughs> oh fucking boy. Oh my god, this series is absolutely cursed. Oh my god. Alright, this is fine. I just gotta regain my composure a little bit here. <laughs> Fuck me. Alright. Why is that a DLC feature? So I can't add units to a specific army through the army screen. Why out of all things is that a DLC feature? Uh, what? I, uh, okay, uh, yeah, fine. Just Granada's over, sure you can have access. Um, I can't even interact with my vassal. What? Uh, what? <laughs> the hell's the point of having vassals then? Uh, I can't even tell him what to do. Uh, 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 I I am just speechless at this point. I, I, I I'm just stuttering because I, I I just can't process what the hell is a DLC feature. What isn't? What the fuck? Oh, this series is cursed. Okay, I, I, I think I'm starting to see what people mean when they say this game is unplayable without DLC. What the fuck? War of the Roses? Alright, kill. Fuck me. Alright, um... Uh, how close am I to getting a uh, 60%? Also, my navy... Or, not navy, my army size went up. Fuck. Alright, that's fine. Just gotta get two more infantry. Boom. Although I also still need to get that 60%. So half would be... Uh, fuck. Let's see. Half of 30 would be 15. So this is 14 points then. So I need about like 15 or 16,000 men. Or manpower. I don't like the fact that I'm leaving my fucking army raised like this. Because it's fucking expensive shit. Like I want this damn war with England to be over. Okay, so Portugal lost Ceuta. That was understandable. What the hell? What is France doing down in Africa? What the fuck is wrong with you, you stupid bastard? See, a war participation means nothing now. Um, because favors don't exist. Oh boy. Who are my two allies? Oh, it was uh, Navarro, right? I'll ally Portugal, sure. Why do I have a null treaties? My alliance broke because of war, not because of an annul treaty. Okay, then. Uh, can I ally Austria or something? Nah. Actually, I can ally the Pope. Yeah, let's ally the Pope. Oh, but they're allied to Aragon. Shit, okay, never mind. I'm not gonna be able to get that alliance. I'm gonna have to beat Aragon's ass. I assume I can get the Iberian Wedding. I assume that is a thing I can do, and I'm going to hope that I get it, because that'll just make my life so much easier. Wait, is Naples a personal union? Okay, so personal unions do exist. Okay, good. 
All right, uh, France, I'm gonna have to just lower my maintenance at this point. I, I can't be fucking paying my- <laughs> I can't be paying all this money during, like, any time. I'm fucking poor as shit right now. All right. And hopefully the war ends soon. That English Navy will get destroyed by mines. Let's go kick their ass. Coward. Oh, no, they're not cowards. They just peace out. Well, they're still cowards. <laughs> Uh, who is Ali with Granada? Morocco and Tunis. I could just prevent them from blocking the strait. That's fine. All right, get my tech up. I can't even kill my damn air. Actually, I kill my air by doing this. Yeah, I'll make both my leaders into a uh, into a general, so they hopefully die soon. That'd be great. Oh boy. Yeah, I want to try to attack. Granada before the end of the episode. I don't know if I'll be able to do that though. Let's fix my units because I like the offensive units more. Okay. Uh... Are insults a DLC feature? Scornful ones are, not the regular ones. Oh, where I'm at, uh, I have troops in England. Um, okay, and yeah, insults still give power projection. Okay. Okay. All right, my economy is coming back quite fucking quickly. Huh. My general died. I assume that my leaders still count as a general, right? For the uh, mission? Yes, okay, good. So I'm slowly getting up to the force limit, or not force limit, manpower that I need. Leinster, Milan, and Munster. I wouldn't mind getting a personal union over Milan. That'd be an okay personal union to get. Hmm. Like, I like Hungary. Bit of a strange alliance, but I think I'll take that. Also, Hungary and the Ottomans did a partition of Wallachia. Interesting. Alright. So, I assume the Prepare the Reconquista just gives me claims all over. Yeah, Andalusia. Okay. Discovering the Caribbean. I'm going to have to get exploration ideas. I assume that the idea groups haven't changed at all. Well, okay, there might be, like, some, like, sort of DLC features in there, but I assume that they are mostly the same. Alright, try to get some good money in my capital. That'd be great. I don't need my fort in my capital. It's not super useful. I just want money right now. It'd be great if I could turn Navarra into a march and then build a fort there. That'd be real good. Actually, hold on. I can't even build in my vassal's land. Unless they already have a thing there. They, oh my god, I can't even build my vassal's land. Oh my god, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alrighty then. <laughs> I think I'm definitely just slowly losing my sanity while playing this. This is definitely a cursed version of the game. <laughs> oh god. So yeah, the war against Navarra should be fairly easy. I just attack, or not Navarra, Granada. I attack, blockade the Straits of Gibraltar, and then I just kill them and wait till the others are willing to peace out. Although then again, they might have the combined strength to beat me. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Well, so yeah, there are no favors, so you can just call in your allies at any point. That's so fucking dumb, and I love it. It's like, favors missing is actually a good feature. That That's real fucking nice. <laughs> These favors are really fucking annoying. Alright, do I have the mission now? Finally. Alright. Gotta fucking wait till the game recognizes I have the cast bell eye. Good. I gotta also get my armor maintenance up. I should have been doing that the whole time, because I'm stupid. Right, get my men into the Straits of Gibraltar. Uh, Alright, yeah, you guys go to Jian? Jin? 
Shamamala. Shamalama ding dong. All right, let's see. All right, that's probably enough morale. I have extra morale anyways, so that's whatever. Uh, also, the war goal doesn't really matter, but I think Gibraltar would be the best. All right, hopefully the army dies instantly. Good. All right, get those sieges going, and I will just be able to beat their ass, hopefully. That'd be good. Okay, here comes my vassal to take away some of my manpower issues I'll have. Thank you, uh, Navara. You're a good boy. Alright, I don't want to leave my, like, post here with my ships because of the fact that, well, that's eh, going to be issues. But I could try to snipe off those ships there. Now they ran away like the cowards that they are. Damn cowards. Alright. You can also get build a force limit that reduces my army maintenance machines. My economy isn't so bad. Uh, I could ignore this and just, nah, screw that. But yeah, I just need more and more and more money. Money! Alright, War of the Roses end it. That's whatever. Could send my, tr uh, not transports, light ships over there. They can blockade. Um, hopefully they can blockade this. Yeah, they can. Good. Just to speed up Granada. I'm not going to want them there forever, though, because they're going to get wiped out by the enemy ships. But for the time being, I can leave them there. But once the siege starts getting to a point where they can probably get it, I'll pull them out. The Renaissance. Yeah. All right. They should have no problems proceeding with the siege now. And I don't want to lose my light ships because I'd rather not build new ones. All right, that siege is over. Excellent. Move you guys to Sevilla. You guys are going to come down here to Cadiz. Probably not through that way, though. All right, what are the enemies doing? Uh, not causing me any issues. That's good. All right, good. Now, these are just transports and light ships. I could just deal with those guys pretty easily, I'd assume. Yep, blast their ass to hell. They've got four heavy ships there. I've got five, though, so I'd assume... Oh, they ran away like the cowards that they are. Ha! Fools. What? What? Oh, my God. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Okay, so... That's a funny little thing. So, with DLC, you could press A on your fleet... And that will split off all the injured ships. And what those injured ships will do, they'll automatically go into a port. It doesn't work like this here. Fuck me. <laughs> okay, this is this is fine. Uh, this is fine. All is fine. Oh my god, it's a lot of people. Yeah, the enemy would have quite the advantage if it wasn't for the fact that... Um, yeah, my navy is better than theirs. Oh, my vassal is an idiot. But you know what? I like their style. I've got to go in with them. How many men do they send? 3,000. I'll send in 4,000. And uh, I'll keep men on standby to hopefully help out if need be. Let's see, Tunis over there. Mmm, look like a mighty fine uh, feast for my ships. Yeah, where is the enemy right now? Like, they're not fighting anyone else, right? Yeah, they're not. So, I'm surprised they're not trying to come up here and defeat my army. Very, very strange. I'm going to go see if I can beat up Tunis's fleet. Yeah, there's the problem that they... Do they have any galleys? No, they don't have any galleys. So, actually, yeah, they're just going to get destroyed. Okay. I have not engaged the Moroccan heavy ships. Because they're all cowards, is what they are. Oh shit. Alright, well, that was to be expected. I don't know if these men are going to make it in time. Yeah, let's just let these guys retreat out of there. Oh yeah, they even brought in reinforcements. I don't want to fight that battle. Alright, well. Since this battle has come to a standstill. Huh. 
That button's missing. I don't even know what that button does, because I never fucking use it. Um, well, since this war has come to a standstill, because I don't want to advance into Africa, and they refuse to surrender, I'll end this episode here. I'll see you next time.